Well, for those of you who are on our webinar today, welcome, welcome. It's uh, time to get started, and we'd like to to thank HP Advisors and and um, this opportunity to present how to run your morning huddle, and especially when it's powered by Blue IQ. And this webinar is to help you really just use Blue IQ better, more efficiently within your practice to really drive that morning huddle and, and be more productive. And so hopefully most of you are, are doing some sort of a morning huddle. In fact, we're going to launch a poll and would love for you to just answer these quick questions on how many of you are doing a morning huddle either every morning, a few times a week, or never. <laughs> If you don't mind answering that quickly, that'll help us um, as we move forward here and kind of just quickly address some of these key issues. So it looks like we're about 50%. 50% are doing morning huddles, 50% uh, are not. So perfect. Well, let's, um, let's dive into this then because I'd like to start with that very key thing, kind of the purpose of the morning huddle, why we even do it. And as many of you know, we come rushing into the practice and we've got a busy day ahead of us. We know we have patients that are going to be showing up shortly. Um, and it's, it's busy, right? And this is an opportunity that not only you as the doctor, but also your team have a chance to come together. And one of the very most important things that we're doing here is pinging our staff. And what I mean by that, pinging, think of a, a submarine. Um, they use sonar, right, to uh, navigate the ocean and the ocean floor. It's how do they never run into thing? Well, they, they send out, you know, sonar. It comes back and, and it creates an image. Well, how many of you take the time in the morning to ping your team members and feel how they're engaging for the day? Are they present? Have they left all of their morning stress behind at home? We all know we have lives outside of the practice, but it's still vital that each team member is ready to go. Like they're excited, they're, they're clear mentally. And that all comes into play in this morning huddle. And so now we have an opportunity to look at the schedule and make sure that there's just, where are the key important points of the schedule? Number one, is there pending treatment coming in today that we have an opportunity to talk about, talk with a patient and make sure that that next phase of care is getting on the schedule and they don't slip out the door without getting that onto the schedule. So identifying pending treatment and who is going to be the responsible party to talk to that patient about that next phase of care. And so that gets assigned. The next one is collection opportunities. Blue IQ is really helping you shorten your revenue cycles. What I mean by that is from the time that a service is performed to the time that the money is in your bank account, we want that as instantaneously as possible. And so as soon as denials happen on the insurance side, if it moves back to the patient side, again, we want to make sure that those, uh, those collections are taken care of. So again, Blue IQ is flagging that for you and, and an opportunity to shorten that, that revenue cycle. To look for any past due care, that means that a patient is coming in for a clinical treatment and they're past due for their cleaning. And this is an opportunity to add same day production to the schedule. So this is identifying a patient who has not been in for their cleaning. Now, I'm going to show you some upgrades that Blue IQ is, is putting in here very shortly, and that's going to help you identify these patients. And then obviously, same-day production. Any chance we have on a daily basis to push production is an opportunity because it's those little moments that add up significantly. If you'll just help drive your production by 2% more a day, that dramatically adds up over a year and can really make the difference in the profit loss column. And then we're looking at the, the schedule for any potential waiting uh, times that may happen. And, and that's, just, uh, that's just good clinical management. Um, we're all, as a team, aware of patient waiting. And if, if a patient is going to be waiting, there has to be a plan in place. And what I mean by that is we want to ensure that any team member that sees a patient waiting for longer than, and you guys establish the minutes, is it five minutes, 15 minutes, that a team member goes over and offers something to this patient. That could be a drink. That could be a tablet with a video to watch about the clinic. That could be, um, you know, a magazine. I mean, uh, we, all patients have phones these days, so they keep themselves pretty busy. 
but um, there's nothing worse than being left in a chair, just waiting, waiting, waiting. And it's just nice to be checked on. So again, identifying those potential waiting times and everybody is on their toes to make sure that that's handled. Now, one thing I didn't put right here, this is also in the schedule, identifying anybody that's coming in that we wanna use Blue ID to invite them to do a social review. So remember, not Blue IQ, but within Blue ID, the phone connection, we can push out um, the opportunity for patients to do social reviews. So that's your Google reviews, your Yelp reviews, your, your Facebook reviews. So we're identifying those patients that we want to invite to do a review. That way we can identify the ones that we we're pretty confident are gonna give us good reviews. And, and so we identify and assign that to a team member right there within the practice today. Now, we're going to go through and assign specific tasks for each team member. That way, a team member knows what can they do today that is the most impactful things that they can contribute to a practice. Because again, we get so busy as a team um, just processing what is in front of us. And if we're so focused on the thing that's right in front of us and we forget the things that we were assigned to complete that day, often we go home, we're having dinner or we're laying in bed and all of a sudden it hits us, oh, I was supposed to accomplish this task today and it, it didn't get accomplished. The last piece of the um, morning huddle is to inspire. This is to lift each other, to bring each other up to a level that they then are ready to see patients. And what I mean by this is that we all are energetic beings, right? Some people naturally resonate at a high level. Some people naturally resonate on a low level. And um, it's that feeling that, they're, that, you, that you feel from them when you walk into their presence. You know what I mean by that? So as a group, we are inspiring each other and lifting each other during that, that morning huddle. And that can be done several ways and, and we'll kind of talk about this. So this is just a simple flow. Before we actually dive into the software, let's just go through the, the simple flow of a, of a morning huddle. So this is 15 minutes before patients are let in the doors. We welcome the team. Now I like to have either the office manager or the, the front desk manager, some, one of them run the huddle. Uh, this isn't traditionally the doctor, this is, uh, this is traditionally the office manager or lead manager. We go over some housekeeping items. Maybe there's some things that need, need announcements, birthdays, um, anniversaries, uh, milestones. Uh, this is the time to highlight those things. The next piece is then opening Blue IQ. Blue IQ should be on a big screen. Uh, my favorite is a 44-inch TV or bigger. <laughs> that does mean installing a TV somewhere in the practice, but hopefully you already have one. But when it's projected up on that TV, oh, it's just nice for the whole team to see that. <clears throat> and then we go through specific assignments, and we're going to go through this as we go through Blue IQ, so you'll see this. And then we, we go through um, highlights of action steps before we walk out of the room, and then we finish with our inspirational thought. Now the inspirational thought, <coughs> excuse me, can be done by, can be assigned to a team member that they're just coming to the, the huddle with a, a, a quick YouTube video. This could be a Blue IQ video. If you don't know this on um, our, our YouTube channel, we have lots of um, videos that you can just show a clip of. And these are from consultants, these are from, um, your great Drew Henrich himself is on one of ours. Um, this can be uh, actually just a, a, a inspirational YouTube video, or it can just be a thought, just something that somebody is reading that they researched and found that's meaningful to the team. <laughs> Excuse me, I've got a little bit of a cold, so <clears throat> struggling here. But it's that chance to, again, elevate the team so that their energy is high as we're walking out to see patients. So hopefully that makes sense. We're gonna dive into Blue IQ here. I wanna make you aware of, again, an upgrade that's just coming here shortly in the next couple of weeks. So if <clears throat> you might be watching this after this upgrade already came out, but you'll be able to click on any patient name and get a lot of information here about, Blue, about the patient. Um, you'll see their profile, you'll see their account balance, their breakdown, you'll see their lifetime production that's taken care of within this patient. You'll see contact information, appointments, that you can look at um, completed appointments, broken appointments, 
Uh, you can see treatment and phases of care if it's pending or if it's been completed. And then you'll see, you'll be able to jump in between family members' files right, right here within Blue IQ. And then you'll notice there at the bottom, our next phase after this is released, you'll actually have the opportunity to turn on appointment confirmations and birthday messages. Now this, this is important because it does play into the morning huddle, which I will actually train on even though you won't see this completely in this presentation today. So let me switch over to Blue IQ now. And here we are looking at the default screen. This is the screen that comes up when you first log into Blue IQ. Right here on the right hand corner, you'll always see when the information was last updated. So you'll know if it's current. Um, remember, you can always come into office settings and go to data sources and just check to see if your data uh, integration is, is, uh, is healthy, if it's pushing data. And uh, you know, most of the time it should be. If there's something there, you can always just, uh, just reauthorize it and uh, it should fire it back right up. But most of the time we're, we're in good shape there. So in the morning huddle, we're going to focus on these numbers right here. So here's your total appointments for the day. We're gonna start there. This is what I recommend. And it starts with today. And we can see out of 28 appointments that eight of these coming in have account balances. Now, depending on what patient management system you're using, um, if it's Open Dental or EagleSoft, you're, this list right here is actually the patient responsibility. If you're Dentrix, Dentrix does not allow us to access the tables in Dentrix to show you the breakdown. So unfortunately, you're just seeing the total account balance on both the cash and the uh, payer uh, or on the patient side. But, with, but right here, um, this is an open dental account, so these are cash account balances. So again, this can be exported to a CSV file, it can be printed off. And then the front desk is making notes, they're highlighting, they're checking, checking off, you know, the, the account balances that they should collect that day. That way we're not missing anything that day as the patient's coming in. Now you'll also see, does anybody coming in with incomplete care? You see nobody is here. And then we also have the HIPAA signature. Has anybody turned 18 since our last visit? And that way we're getting that consent to treat. Now remember, there's other ways to interact with the data. You can click on the patient list here. This is all, you know, the full patient schedule for the day. It's currently in alphabetical order the way that it comes. And we've given you these little sort manuals to, to sort through that. Um, coming soon, this will actually give you the actual appointment times and will be in the order that the patients are coming in. So that, that is coming shortly. Um, Today's appointment will show up here. Right now it's the next appointment, but again, there's some big upgrades coming here shortly. Um, you can click on that column and sort through that. You can look at the appointment provider. You can look at the last appointment and what procedure codes were completed on that appointment. And again, who the provider was, account balances, incomplete treatment, and then of course, demographics. Now you can see there's a lot of missing demographics here. This is designed to just flag an account that might be missing something. That could be as simple as a, uh, an address, email address, birth date, you know, just something within the profile. We're, we're just letting you know that that probably needs to be looked at for the day. So that again can be exported and then that can be, notes can be taken on it and different things like that. Now you do have these interactive charts to go into, completed unscheduled, you can sort this by procedure, you can sort this by provider. So different ways to look at the appointments for the day. But then we recommend going back to the previous uh, workday. So what this does is it allows you to see the appointments yesterday. Now these don't have very much. So let's go back to a day that had a decent schedule. So out of 27 appointments, 13 left with no recare appointment. Now the way that we're calculating that is that you do have to add a code that is a recare, a hygiene code. If you don't add a hygiene code to the appointment, we, we can't tell that it's a hygiene visit. So ideally, when your hygiene team is scheduling those appointments, if it's done in the chair or if it's done at the front desk, schedule that cleaning but attach a hygiene code to that appointment. And that way we'll ensure that the patients that are leaving, um, we make sure that they have an uh, appointment before they go. Again, here's eight patients that left with an account balance. 
And then we, we like to review new patients. So let me just open this up for the week. <clears throat> we see nine new patients. <coughs> Again, we're flagging for you any new patients that came in with no next appointment. That's a no-no. We, we absolutely want all new patients to have a next appointment. That should at least be a cleaning, if not some clinical work, that we've now converted into um, production. Now, notice we also, on a daily basis, I'm going to go back to days, I'll go back to today, there's nine patients going inactive. If you hover over that, these are patients who have not been in for one year. Now, technically, patients are not inactive until 18 months. This is going inactive. They're slipping away. We're missing them. Blue IQ is, is giving this to you what we call in micro reactivation because so many offices print off a huge binder of patients once a quarter and dump them on the front desk or somebody in the office to follow up with these patients and it's overwhelming. There's just too much of it. Some of you have softwares that automate reactivation and that's great and that's even if that's being used, you're still gonna see a big number of these patients. So we're giving you that list if they have any pending treatment, any account balances, their last appointment, what happened on that last appointment, so that um, you can communicate with these patients. Now again, ideally we're, we're providing you with Blue ID that connects to your phones that you can just send them a text message or a reactivation message. Just so that you understand the future development of Blue IQ, we are designing a lot of this to automate for you. So you'll have the opportunity to just go in and send some automated messaging to these patients to try to get them back on the schedule. But this is a great opportunity that if you have an open slot, you can text these patients and say, hey, you haven't been in for a cleaning for a while. We have an open slot today. The first person who texts me back will get in for this cleaning. So it's a, it's a great opportunity to add production for that day, uh, jump on one of these lists and try to get these patients back in activated with the, the practice. And then again, as we look at net growth of a practice, whether that's weekly or monthly, that's what we're looking at is net new patients. So this is taking your new patients minus you're going in an active list, giving you your net new patients. And again, this allows us to see as a practice, do we have strong marketing systems and weak reactivation systems or potentially weak react or strong reactivation systems and weak marketing systems? And we'll have future webinars that talk about this and how to implement proper systems to, to strengthen those things. So that's the patient side of the morning huddle. Now, remember, you, you have the opportunity to, um, to drill in a lot of different ways into those lists. Now, we also want to look at production. So this is right here, production. You can click on here. But remember, you have a toggle button right here that you can jump back and forth between patient and production insights. <clears throat> so we're looking at today's production. Now, this, this is in real time. So this practice already um, has 66% of the production. Today, they have already added $260 worth of production. They're doing fantastic. Now, the question is, how much production do we need today? So again, the office manager should come into the production numbers. So they're at total production. They have a goal of 100,000. You can see here, they should be at 56,000 for the month. And they're behind the goal. They're at 45,000. And they have a daily goal right here. You can see of 4,348. So that's what they should hit on a daily basis. But because they're behind, they need to make up 10,000, 11,000. So where are they behind? Is this in hygiene production? No, they're actually ahead in hygiene production, but they are behind in their clinical production. So that's where we want our emphasis to be is on clinical production. So when we go back into insights here and we go into production, we see they're actually $2,000 ahead of the daily goal. That's good. That's going to help them make that up. They can see here that doctor production is 3,600. Hygiene production is 2,400. That's, that's pretty strong, pretty good. We can go into this interactive chart. We can drill into doctor production. We can see the services. This will drill down even all the way to the code, the code being posted. So you can use that. It even gives you the patient list seen scheduled with the doctor, the patient list scheduled with the, the hygiene team. And again, you can drill into those and, and see how those are, are interacting. It's also nice to open this up for the month. And again, you can see the progress for the month and, and again, compare that to the goal and how we're progressing. We are building, again, just a little indicator of how you're, 
you know, translating that goal into the insights so that you can see if you're, you're behind or ahead and <clears throat> can discuss that with the team. Because again, that's, that's the intention here is to get everybody together focused and driving on the same things to allow us to achieve those goals. And that's what Blue IQ is all about. It's the daily rhythm that we can get in. And we all know the power of goal setting. And again, Blue IQ is just trying to provide for you opportunities to, to come together as a team, and identify where you can make the difference and, and dramatically improve um, that. So after going through that, we're just going to go and review our assignments for the day. Again, this could be who's talking to somebody about uh, their next phase of care. This could be collecting account balances. This could be uh, the going the the going inactive list and who's going to be contacting these, and choosing somebody to invite them to do a social review. Um, again, Google, Facebook, um, Yelp, whatever, whichever ones you need to build and improve. So that is the um, the morning huddle. And again, on any of these patient lists, you'll be able to click a patient name right here, and this feature will come right up. And we're also adding to this list the ability, this a little column right here that you'll see um, family members who have account balances. You'll also see family members with no next appointment, no hygiene appointment. So while we have this patient in, let's make sure we collect all family balances and let's make sure we get all the family members scheduled for their next cleaning. You'll also see right here a birthday cake if it's their birthday month, that's coming. And you'll see a check mark if they've had a uh, appointment re, uh, confirmation sent to them and a double check mark if they're confirmed. So a lot of cool things are coming to help the morning huddle flow even smoother and to ensure that today is gonna be an incredible productive day as you take your, your team through each one of these. So I, um, I'd like to open this up just for a few minutes for questions. If you guys have any questions, I uh, would be happy to, uh, to answer those and just take a second to, to see if there's anything else that we can cover on this topic of the morning huddle. Now, obviously, there's, there's more um, of these webinars coming. In fact, just to announce our next one, it's Thursday, January 24th. And the topic is just how to review your KPIs in a weekly team meeting. Like, in a team meeting, how are we using Blue IQ to engage the team? Um, and so we're going to cover that in next week's topic. And then we've got several followed up after that that, that HP Advisors will be announcing and sharing with you. So um, again, if you have any questions, happy to answer those. If not, we'll go ahead and, and, uh, and close. And grateful for everybody joining us today. And, and keep, uh, keep up the great work. Let's make 2019 your best year ever.